Viper is one of the strongest agents in Valorant, wielding a kit that is perfect for both zone control and vision denial. Viper's Toxin Orb is a deployable projectile that can be thrown much like a smoke in CSGO and other tactical shooters. Her Toxin Wall similarly blocks vision and can be deployed without having to actually endanger yourself. It's possible to simply cut the bomb site in half by just aiming upwards at the skybox in the direction that you want the wall to fall. Out of the current maps, she particularly shines on Bind, and whether you're attacking or defending, the ability to make use of the openness of the map designs with Viper Smokes is almost too good to pass up. My priority is their suffering. Bind Point A is considered to be defender-focused, mainly because of Heaven being a dangerous spot with an enemy positioned. To get a good wall down on this point, first make sure that the showers are secure. Go to the right of the entrance and look up. You can see on the minimap how you can cut the point in half, taking out not only the enemy's perch on the high ground, but also cutting across the boxes. Cutting point A in half diagonally breaks sightlines from heaven, and anyone camping angles from the shower side of the site, thus allowing your team to push in more aggressively into sight and setting up for a plant. If you choose to attack from Link heading into A short, position yourself in front of this wall. This wall runs parallel to the side of A site and gives you only a small section of the point to plant. To follow up when the wall goes up, your team should push into A teleporter and clear all lamps and peak heaven. Similar to the last wall, it can go on the aggressive without having to worry too much about anyone who is camping heaven or defending the boxes on site. Besides using wall on A, a more direct way to take out someone on heaven completely is to smoke them out using your toxin orb. Head towards showers and go to where the rugs are and then look up. This decorative ceiling skylight is actually a great spot to angle smokes for Viper. Aim just above the red light of this beacon and fire. If you press Q and then peek here, you can see that the area is now smoked off. Near the teleporter outside of showers, hop onto the boxes and aim upwards towards the beacon tower again. But this time, point your cursor slightly below the shadow of this parallelogram shape. Jump and fire. This one accomplishes the same result of smoking heaven, but from a slightly safer position. And it's a bit trickier because there aren't as many defined guides to line it up with. If you're going for a mid-approach, you can get a good smoke off in front of the teleporter without having to risk peeking by heading over to this red building and aiming just above the power lines like so. Jump and fire. What this smoke accomplishes is the obscuring of the sight lines from anyone watching from sight and denies anyone camping from the corner at lamps. With this down, you and your team can either push in to secure lamps or rotate to heaven. Or if they're overcommitted to A, you could juke the enemy by rushing through the smoke and take teleport to hookah, effectively forcing them to play reactively and walk into your team. If you go from B short, you'll want to drop a smoke in front of Hookah and aim up to where the power lines meet to the top of the metal sheet fence and deploy your wall. With this wall, the point is split in half in a way that cuts the sight lines of anyone in B Hall or B Cubby, leaving only the left side of the site to deal with. Alternatively, instead of cutting the site in half, you can gain control of B itself by aiming your wall like this so that it falls into the left side of Hookah's window. This blocks off anyone who would have held angles off to the left of B site and makes it riskier for the enemy to rotate in from B long. To smoke out the back of the point, go to the corner of the boxes along the doors of the teleporter. Aim up in such a way following the side of this building while going up high enough to be perpendicular to where the power lines meet the rock. Throwing your orb, you'll find that it lands neatly at the back of the site, smoking out the entrance of B Hall. With the left side of B walled off and B Hall smoked, your team should push in through Hookah to plant. Once B Long is secured, position yourself against the blue wall between the papers and where the paint is chipping off in spots. Next, aim upwards and align your cursor here nestled just above the corner of this building's top edge and the side of its second floor. Jump and throw and you'll see that the B halls are smoked off. You can adjust your aim to the left if you want to try smoking more towards the back of the site instead. When it comes to defending, similar principles of smoking the choke applies. Should the enemy commit to the push onto B, go up to the side of the mid teleporter just outside the entrance to lamps and deploy your wall running lengthwise to point B. This wall is incredibly effective, as it blocks off the window at hookah and entrance from B long without you actually having to be on the site itself. By developing good practices with the wall and orb, you can protect your team from the enemy by denying vision. But more importantly, since you're able to cut a plant site in half, it enables you to focus on half of the point instead of every angle. Thanks for watching. Let us know if you want to see more guide videos for Valorant in the comments below.